What's going on YouTube? I'm back again with another video and today we're checking out this weedy roll that I bought off of eBay. It has an Indian head ender. Should you be buying these? Uh, they say they're unsearched, but let's check it out and see what you guys think. I don't know. I paid $13.79 for this. Uh, you can pay anywhere between you know that and sometimes up to 20 bucks on these rolls. So let's open this up real quick and uh, we'll get started and see what we find in here. Just lining them up. And our first one is the Indian Head Ender 1901. Um, the problem is it is really wiped and it's got a lot of crustiness there. Look at that. Not a great coin to start off with. The backside, not too bad on that coin. Next one is a 1946 and again, the condition is not very good. It's got a big scratch going right through the head of Lincoln there. I have found much better pennies in circulation. 1950S. Again, it's got a little spot there of crustiness. So we find, you know, the, the coins we find in circulation seem, tend to be a, a little bit better than this a lot of times. So and, you know, you're going to get your problematic co coins once in a while. Here's a 1955 this one wasn't too bad. It's got a lot of crustiness going around the edge of the rim there, but not too bad overall. Got a 1948 in an average condition there. And I started off kind of slow and then I'll kind of speed up. But 1957, you can see, look, there's some dirt and crud. 1919S, this is probably one of our better coins that we got from this roll. And again, it, it even had some issues. There's the reverse of it, a lot of spotting, a lot of dirtiness. And we got a 1911, and look at this, guys. I mean, you can barely tell that's a 1911. It is completely wiped. And, I, you know, I do find coins like this hunting, but overall I find better condition coins. Uh, just picking them up for a penny, you know, searching my own boxes, 1948. Here's a 39, not too bad a shape for a 39. Kind of like that coin. Here's a steel penny, 1943, but man, the condition is just horrible. That you know they do tend to rust, so uh, a lot of them that you find are pretty nasty. But look at this. Here's a 29. Look at that. That is such a garbage coin right there. Super nasty condition. 1930 again, all scratched up. Guys, I would really think twice before purchasing an unsearched roll off of eBay. Uh, pretty much all of the coins that we found in this roll, I mean, they just look at them. They all have problems. They all have pretty bad issues. Even in, un in, in, in boxes, I find some that have luster and they're really nice coins. Look at that. That's like a giant, you know, something smashed into the head of Lincoln there. Much better coins in circulation, guys. Just buy your coins at the bank open them up, do the work. It's a lot of fun. You find much better coins than, than the stuff that you're finding in these rolls. Now, if you find a good reputable dealer on eBay, maybe, but look at this, this, all of these, I could see if you got like, you know, maybe three, maybe four coins in this roll that had bad issues like this, but almost every coin had some sort of issues. There's a 1920, that's about an average condition for 1920. Anything in the 20s is pretty, usually pretty worn, teens and 20s. Uh, we did get another Indian head, which I was very happy. Uh, but look at that, big bite out of it. It's just garbage. You know, that's maybe a, a 25 cent coin right there in that condition. Uh, there's another steel penny, but again, super, super worn and just crusty. And uh, we got a 34 again, some damage. So all of these coins just had some, some sort of damage to them. I'm sure that there are some reputable people out there that are selling and uh, are, aren't trying to just sell you garbage coins. But I don't know about this seller. I don't know if I just got a bad roll or what, but this one just seemed to be pretty... Pretty nasty. 1946. Most of this roll ended up being 1940s and 50s, which is, you know, that's an average seller. Your, most of your coins are going to be from the 40s and 50s. But let's see what else we got here. We have 1958D. 
one of the most common coins you'll ever find. And then we got another 1907 Indian head, but look, chip out of it. It's pitted, just nasty. The backside's not too bad, actually, on that. But that front side was pretty nasty. 1957, look, spots again, just crusty spots all over these coins. There's a 42D. And we're coming to the end of the roll here. There's another steel penny, again, bad, circulated, crusty. 1945 with a dent in it. That thing was bent. These were just horrible, horrible coins. Look at this one, 37, but like, come on, that that's just ridiculous. This guy is just trying to make a couple extra bucks on some really, really bad coins. I hate to see what else he, he's given out to people. 1947, average coin right there, not too bad. Like I said, there were some decent coins in there, but nothing crazy. A lot of good starter coins for a coin collector book. Here's another garbage coin, just tons of stuff all around it. Uh, another steel penny. All of the steel pennies were pretty corroded. And we're almost done here. There's a 1940. Not too bad for that 1940. And a 1942D. 41. And I think we're coming to the end of the roll. There's a 46. Couple more 1940. You can see I'm I'm pretty over it at this point. 1937. And I think that was it. Yep. So guys. Uh, how do you feel? Well, I feel like it was a good mix of dates, but the condition is just horrible on these. Really, honestly, take 25 bucks, go to the bank, buy a circulated roll of pennies, and just go through them on your own. You'll, you'll thank me later, I promise you, because you can find a lot better coins in circulation, uh, and you'll get them a lot cheaper. You get them for a penny a piece. Uh, it was still fun going through this roll, but again, you know, it, I think it's a lot more fun to just go find them yourself. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give a like, subscribe, and share, and post your comments down below. We'll see you next time, and as always, happy hunting.